My name is John Stuart Mill. Two years ago, I discovered Hitchens, and I believe that on my birthday, he will resurrect and take my physical form. I've been delivering the word of Hitchens to religious believers and people looking for a meaning in life for over a year. I like to believe that I have helped and converted many away from the open arms of religion, freeing them from their chained minds. I don't have a standard route every week, but on Sunday mornings, I take a walk through areas of Hong Kong, hoping to free as many as I can. There are posters I put up just to raise awareness. Hopefully they help, but I'm yet to find a Chinese translator. Yes, I enjoy what I do, and the comfort that Hitchens would have been proud motivates me every week. The Sikh temple in Causeway Bay is a place I visit often. I like to see myself as doing them a favour. Just look at the way they are gathered in a space so far below where I stand and the awful restrictions of turbans for the men. Now, the simple religious mind would say that was an act of God. But I know I'm just clumsy. The St John's Cathedral is also a regular visit of mine. It amazes me to see how much they respect people who have supposedly done good by preaching the Word of God. Is it too modern to notice that there is nothing in the Ten Commandments about the protection of children from cruelty, nothing about rape, nothing about slavery, and nothing about genocide? A full house today of the happily deluded who know no better. Anglicanism seems to be an almost exclusively Filipino club these days. They come to take them away. Overcome with their religious fervor. This simple statement, God is not great, needs to be drilled into their minds. I understand why people would want to seek religious faith in a corporate world where the values of loved ones are fading away in a world fueled on money. But we must remember that we are more likely to be able to live a fulfilling life if we know that it's our only one. The hope of an afterlife simply forces us to accept the average life we have lived. I usually spend some time on the walkway to IFC, handing out flyers and trying to engage in conversation about religion with people. There are many days where I don't get a response, but I definitely know that in some way I am helping them think, or at least ponder, about a life without the false comfort of God. It's hard getting out there and doing what I do. People will often ignore you. They will tell you to leave them alone. But it's important to stay enthusiastic 
And I know that one day religion will die. Many religions now come before us with ingratiating smirks and outspread hands, like an anxious merchant in a bazaar. They offer consolation and solidarity and uplift, competing as they do in a marketplace. But we have a right to remember how barbarically they behaved when they were strong and were making an offer that people could not refuse. Atheism by itself is, of course, not a moral position or a political one of any kind. It simply is the refusal to believe in a supernatural dimension. Do you believe in God? I was raised a Christian, but gave up my beliefs as soon as I was able to get away from my family and go to college. Hitchens is a personification of rationality. So now when I look up at the sky, I know there is only sky. And that is all the beauty I need.